Yeah. Shame is a roar. Oh, yeah, okay. Throw me in the mouth. Thank you. Because everybody is singing so well, I'm not going to sing. Oh, good night. See you next week. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you a very sad story about um, about a wake. <coughs> Mrs. Hogan died, God bless her, at the age of 84, and the husband Johnny hung a black cloth on the handle of the front door and left it open so that anyone that had known her could come in and pay their respects. There was a great crowd went to the house that evening to see what age she was and to see was she sick or did she die of a sudden. <laughs> and was she sick, Johnny? Johnny said she wasn't sick, she was in great form and she ate an egg for the breakfast that morning, something she hadn't done in a long time. <laughs> and what time did she die at, Johnny? <laughs> Johnny said she died sometime after she ate the egg. <laughs> She? 84. Ah, that was a great age. Johnny said it was a great age to be living at, but not much good of an age to be dying at. <laughs> the whole women of the country brought sandwiches, and some of them brought tins of biscuits, and those that were close to God brought buns that they had made the day before. <laughs> they seemed to have inside information. <laughs> Some called in on their way to bingo, others called in on their way to the pub and stayed. Francie Bowen, who was in the town all day drinking, called in on his way home and ate a plate full of cheese sandwiches. You'd swear he hadn't ate a bit for a week. <laughs> Mrs. Frigid, who wasn't Irish, said it was a great party and lost the run of herself. <laughs> she said she'd not eat an egg again in a hurry. <laughs> and laughed like an idiot. <laughs> The priest who had been there all day shook hands with Johnny and he went home. And the senator came in and shook hands with everybody <laughs> and went to a meeting. He said he had to go, he left the car running. Some said she had a good life, some said she had a hard life, most just said she had a long life. Johnny said he used to hear her singing while she'd be making the dinner. Some got it hard to find words of sympathy and others were good at it. And some did a lot of hugging and whispering into Johnny's ear trying to make him cry. Some said nothing at all. And when they said the rosary that night, Johnny looked sad but he didn't cry. And the ones that were crying were the ones that would be crying anyway. <laughs> Mrs. Hogan was 84. She died of a sudden. God bless her. Oh, yeah. Yeah.